Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and it's the 8th of May, 2019. So uh, I'm doing a little bit of an unorthodox screen share today. I'm actually just capturing the email that went out to my uh, platform 10x uh, you know, newsletter community. And I'm doing this for a very specific reason. I want to show you a really good example of how to monetize a web directory using affiliate offers, right? So those of you who are, uh, in my, you know, orbit or universe know that affiliate or partnership promotion is my favorite way of not only seeding a site with, you know, people, products, programs, content, and courses, but also is a great way of establishing credibility for yourself, um, you know, as you're launching a new platform. If you have really high name recognition brands or companies that are on your site in the very beginning or as listings or as products on your store, it's a great way of earning the appearance of expertise or authority or some brand gravitas simply by dint of your uh, relationship or perceived relationship with those other brands, right? So I'm going to give you, if that doesn't make sense, I'm going to show you really quickly an example of a site that's really well done in this respect. Now, this is not a uh, conventional WordPress theme or directory, uh, you know, site, but it, what it is, is a uh, community of courses that one can sift through or navigate or browse to find, you know, courses and content and classes in a whole plethora of different, uh, you know, niches or uh, areas. So you have data science, marketing, business, blockchain, VBA, cryptocurrency, Ruby, machine learning, etc. All, you know, you can navigate it this way. And essentially what they have here is links to these external platforms, in this case, Coursera, in this case, Udemy, I don't know how to pronounce that, Udemy, Ude Udemy, whatever it's pronounced as, here's Udacity, um, you know, Coursera again, right? So as you navigate this springboard and you see course, you're going to a dedicated page on still the same courseroute.com and then you can go directly to the course this way now as you'll notice well they're actually adding a charity element to this as well which is nice but it's actually slowing down the process of conversion right i mean i don't want to i don't want to say that incorporating a charity element is a negative but in terms of their ultimate conversions Actually, it is, right? They're going to convert less by adding that extra click, but that's not the point of this video. So here you have, now you're at Springboard. If you can look in the URL, you'll see that this is tracking back to course root. And if I buy this or apply for this uh, course, I'm actually going to earn these folks here a commission, right? The originating source. Now, the question becomes, right? Let's go back to my email. And this again went out to my community. How do you do this on a conventional, uh, you know, WordPress theme? So if you're using my listing or, um, you know, Will City or Listify, Listable, you know, Listener, any of these sorts of, uh, frameworks, how do you emulate the same approach? Well, the way you do it most easily is using the external product type and WooCommerce, right? So all you're going to do is add a product or what I do is I, I, I do both. I add both products and listings, right? So you can add a listing that let's say is, uh, you know, the course or the affiliate product itself. And then you can actually add a store product um, that attaches to that listing. And again, this is a little bit contingent upon the theme, but certainly uh, my listing does this really effectively. Uh, Listify, even though that's a dinosaur theme, had a one of the really first, uh, you know, skillful approaches to this. They would actually allow you through plugins to attach a store product to a listing. So the sidebar or within the content of the listing itself, you would actually have the uh, product embedded 
on the listing. You can do this any number of ways. It really matters not. But the key or crucial piece is WooCommerce external product types. This is free. It's built into WooCommerce. Most folks don't even know it's there. You simply use the drop down and you select external product type. And then all you need to do is insert your affiliate link or partnership link or ambassador link, you know, whatever the phrase is that you're using into that field and it will track conversions for you. Now, here's just a screenshot. I know that you're looking at this on YouTube. It's going to be hard to see, but this is share chart for me in April, right? So I do this with lots of programs. Here is just one example, share tribe. April 30th, April 30th, April 28th, 28th, 27th, 26th, 25th, 23rd, 21st, 20th, et cetera, et cetera, right? Lots of conversions, pretty much one every day or two. Um, and again, it's a passive way. I don't do anything, you know, to promote Share Tribe. Otherwise, it's just a one-time content creation process, maybe record a video, add a listing, add a product, you know, to your directory. And boom, people who are coming to that site are, have a way now to, you know, help you monetize your site even in its infancy. So even as you're just getting started and you can't yet charge for premium listings, you can, you know, monetize that listing again by dint of having an affiliate or partnership link in the listing itself that pays you every time somebody clicks on that link and converts, right? They have to convert. It's not just a simple click. It's a sign up post click that triggers the revenue generation piece for you. All right. The other thing that you can do, and again, I won't cover the rest of this email because it's not really relevant to most of you, but uh, the other thing you can do, and I recommend this, is add these programs even before you have an affiliate relationship with them, right? So you don't even have to you know, many people struggle with the when do I apply thing or does my site look good enough yet to even apply for an affiliate program or even to, you know, sell feature listings. Well, the key piece here is you add the affiliate programs before you even have an affiliate relationship with them, right? So you're adding it with a, just a, a, a naked link to, let's say, Share Tribe or whatever the appropriate thing is for you. And then post adding them, you contact them and say, hey, Share Tribe, this is Ian and this is my uh, mindful marketplace community. And, uh, you know, here is how we're promoting you on our platform. And I see that you have an affiliate program or do you have an affiliate program? If so, I would love to apply. Well, what you're going to find is most of these affiliate managers are going to see that you're promoting them already for free and they're not going to turn around and say, no, you can't promote us because that would mean removing you, removing them from your site. And no one, no one wants that, right? I mean, you know, they want more affiliates rather than less. So it's sort of a skillful and yet sneaky way of getting a yes simply by being proactive and adding folks before they actually approve you. In a worst case scenario, someone says, please remove us. Uh, you, you know, you're not approved, right? And that, you know, that doesn't happen. I mean, it's, I can count the number of times that's happened to me over, you know, a, a decade in doing work in, in this general regard. All right. Hope that helps a little bit. Again, uh, you know, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, you can sign up for that in the, in the YouTube description box. But this basically outlines the entire approach. Okay. Hope that helps and have a wonderful day.